Hey scientists, I've got a joke for you. Why do graveyards have fences around them? Everyone's just dying to get in. <laughs> uh, anyway, while we're on the subject of bodies, let's talk about yours and how it works. Since we already have skeletons on the mind, let's start there. The skeletal system is made up of all the bones in your body. These bones are made up of super strong cells that contain a lot of hard calcium phosphate and super stretchy collagen. This allows your skeletal system to give your body its form and protect all of the important organs inside. Bones in your arms and legs help you to move and walk, while the bones in your skull, spine, and ribs protect your brain, spinal cord, heart, and lungs. While many of your bones move, they do not cause movement. The strong elastic muscle cells that form muscles and make up the muscular system are responsible for movement. There are three different types of muscle. We have skeletal muscle that are attached to your bones with tendons. When they contract or relax, your bones move, like in your arms and legs. Many organs are made up of smooth muscles. These muscles allow the organs to squeeze and tighten or relax for various reasons. Your stomach and intestines are made of smooth muscle that help you churn, mix up, and move food through your body. Muscles in your eyes help you let in different amounts of lights into your eye to see better. The heart is made up of cardiac muscles that are so strong they send blood throughout your entire body. The heart and blood vessels together make up the circulatory or cardiovascular system. Cardiovascular simply means heart and vessels. The heart has two pumps or contractions. The first pump is weaker and sends blood to the lungs to get oxygen, while the second pump is much stronger and sends the blood through all of your arteries to your organs and back to the heart through veins. The cardiovascular system works really close together with the respiratory system. The respiratory system includes your nose, trachea or windpipe, and your lungs. As you breathe in through your nose, oxygenated air travels through the trachea to your lungs. Here, the oxygen fills up small sacs where oxygen is traded into your circulatory system and CO2 is traded out. As you exhale the CO2, it is released back into the air. As all of these systems are protecting, moving, pumping, and breathing, they use up a lot of energy. And that's where your digestive system comes into action. After food enters your mouth, it is broken down by your teeth and spit and travels down your esophagus to your stomach. This is where strong chemicals break down the food into usable pieces. From the stomach, food moves into the small intestines where nutrients are absorbed, then onto the large intestines where water is absorbed, leaving only waste to exit your body. The body system that's in charge of directing and regulating all of the other systems is your nervous system. It includes your brain, or the control center, your spinal cord, which is like a superhighway, and your nerves. As your brain directs, impulses travel through your spinal cord to specific nerves that activate each and every organ function in your body. Any outside stimulus, like a touch or taste, creates an impulse in the nerve, and the message is sent back to the brain through the spinal cord. Speaking of that big, beautiful brain of yours, let's use it to look at some questions.